Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in New York City. I'm here with Tasso Argios. Tasso, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank so you for having me So you're with here. Teradata, right? Correct. So Teradata has been in the, in the data industry for quite a while, and now as we're talking about big data, mm -hmm. and it seems like the conversation really is Hadoop. Yes. Um, it seems like uh, you guys have a role to play here, and can you kind of talk about what you guys do in this area? Uh, absolutely. Um, so Teradata uh, has a lot of use cases around collecting, integrating, analyzing structured data in a data warehouse. And that is a use case that we're very comfortable with, and our customers are also very comfortable and very happy about that. Um, with Hadoop, we see a big opportunity to create a layer below Teradata where you can actually collect a lot of diverse data and store it, refine it, and then push it up to systems like Teradata or systems like um, Aster Data. So, this whole thing we call it the unified data architecture yes, yeah. because in our minds you need to combine Teradata for data warehousing, um, Aster Data for discovery, and Hadoop for collection, refining, um, the data lake use case as we call it. And by integrating all these three systems together you get an optimal architecture that can satisfy all your big data needs. And so this architecture, the unified data architecture, it can run in enterprise and uh, run different installs around the world, or how does it yes, work? So, so the way we do it is that um, Teradata offers, Teradata as a data warehouse, and Aster as a platform to discover new insights from both structured and unstructured data. And we also provide Hadoop through partnerships um, with companies like Hortonworks. And we take care of integrating everything together, and we take care of uh, providing an out-of-the-box system that just works. You deploy it, and it works. Teradata works, Aster works, Hadoop works, and everything is very tightly integrated with each other. Common management layer, very easy access to data from Teradata to Hadoop, from Aster to Hadoop, etc. So we try to do all the hard work so that our customers can just start using the system, load data, and get their insights as quickly as possible. And so when you talk about customers, you're, you're pretty heavily entrenched in enterprise organizations. Mm -hmm. What do you see as the biggest challenge for an enterprise that's been a data warehouse type company going to more of a real-time analytics, uh, on-the-fly data type company? Yes, I, I think the, the biggest problem is that um, enterprises today, they spend way too much time just deploying uh, systems and getting the basics to work. And that's partly because uh, there's not that much understanding in terms of um, what is you know, Hadoop good for, what are all these technologies good for, how should they come together and integrate with existing infrastructure. So companies are, are struggling right now trying to figure out, okay, I have all these existing investments, how are they relevant, how do I take advantage of these new technologies? And, and if you try you know, to, to, to apply an approach of trial and error, it could take you years and you can waste a lot of money before you become successful. So what we try to do, we really try to be a strategic advisor to our customers. We can provide whatever product they want. We can provide Teradata, Hadoop, Aster. You know, we don't care. We want to build the best architecture for customers. So we will come in and we will look at the problem and we will be very prescriptive on how the old can marry the new and what's the optimal overall architecture. So not knowing what you don't know is a huge risk for enterprises. And my big concern is that, you know, Hadoop has a lot of buzz right now, but there's also a lot of companies that have failed and have spent way too much time and money with Hadoop. And my concern is that this may create a bad name for the big data space. So we try to help our customer be successful the first time so that they build the credibility inside the organization and they can really expand and do more with big data. That sounds like a, uh, a, a migration issue of maybe moving slowly and looking at something like a unified data architecture that you deploy rather than just jumping in all, all head first into uh, Hadoop. Exactly, I mean the difference between, you know, try to apply a point solution without thinking, you know, what comes before and what comes after there's having the unified data architecture where you can take care of all the business users, all your data, and you can respect both the legacy systems but also take advantage of the latest technology. So I've been asking everyone a question, and it's a, it's a personal question for you. Absolutely. Um, 
If there's one problem in the world that exists that you think data could solve, and that you know, if we put enough data, enough power, enough energy, enough analysts, enough, enough everything to it that we could solve, what would that problem be for you? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I would actually even offer a couple of things. I think energy efficiency and healthcare efficiency is, is both problems that I'm very excited about, big social causes. I mean, if you think about what data does at the end of the day, it makes the world a more efficient place, okay? So, to think where can data be more, most effective, you know, especially from a social perspective, right, which is something of personal interest, you have to think where do we have the biggest waste right now? And you look at the energy, there is a ton of waste from, you know, uh, how many lights stay open at our homes, all the way to how do cities and governments utilize energy most efficiently. And then, you know, healthcare, especially in the United States, but, but also in other places of the world, you know, it, it's a huge problem. And the interesting thing about healthcare is that not only is it so inefficient, but nobody seems to know why. Yeah. Nobody seems to know, everybody has their own personal experiences, but nobody's really using data to say, here's like the top five reasons of why we're inefficient and here's how we can tackle the problem. So both I think very exciting problems, ton of opportunity and, and very, very big social benefit if we can tackle those issues. Excellent. Tessa, we look forward to seeing you and your Teradata colleagues at future Strata Hadoop Worlds. Thank, Thank you. you for having me here. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. Thank you.